Tom A. Squirrel Saves Christmas Cheer. Christmas season was in full swing at Go Port Command. Tom E. Squirrel and friends loved this time of year. They couldn't get enough of festive fun and joyous excitement that filled their hearts as they celebrated Jesus' birth. Other than the extra hot cocoa brewing, this was a cold December day like any other when all of a sudden, warning alarms rang out as radars indicated a major loss of power in a distant land. Beep, beep, beep. Tom E. jumped to his feet and ran over to the radar screens. That's Cheer Island. My systems are showing a complete decline in energy structures, warned Robbie Parrot. It appears the entire island is going dark. I'm already on it, announced Tom E. as he sprang into action. Robbie, Addie, let's load up. Tom E. grabbed his adventure pack as Cindy Squirrel entered Cheer Island's coordinates into their travel logs. Strange, said Cindy. There are no distress signals coming out of Cheer Island. It appears they aren't even aware of what's happening. How could they not know? Asked Addie Mole with a quizzical look on his face. He began loading his pack with every tracking gadget he had. Something seems to be distracting them, answered Sydney. Whoosh! Tom E., Robbie, and Addie jumped on their flight pods and raced towards Cheer Island. Stay alert, Tom E. called out over his headset. The people of Cheer Island are known for their light. That's where their cheer comes from. If their lights have gone dim, it means something must be very wrong. Roger that, said Robbie. Very wrong indeed. Tom E. was right. Upon arrival, they discovered things were much worse than originally feared. The people of cheer were losing their light. The once bright glow that radiated from them was now replaced with a dull fog. That fog was spilling out into the streets and affecting people's hearts. In a time when there should have been joyous Christmas cheer throughout the land, there was now a spirit of greed and selfishness. Tom E. peered into a store window and saw people yelling and arguing in the toy line. What has happened here? He wondered. I thought they knew the true meaning of Christmas. Their source of cheer has always been found in the book, Robbie explained. He pointed towards the center of town where a large book was placed atop a pedestal. It is always on view for all to see and read about. It is the true source of happiness and joy. As the fog surrounded them, Addie looked closely and followed its winding trail. It also appears to be where the fog is coming from, he said. Tom E. led the way as the gang headed towards the book. Stepping up to the pedestal, Tom E. looked closely. Something's not right, he said. This should be the Christmas story, but nothing here looks familiar. Leaning in for a closer look, he noticed a sticky substance on the inside of the page as he carefully turned it over. Something's missing. A page has been torn out, he exclaimed. This isn't the Christmas story at all. It's a completely different page, glued in its place. Instead of telling of hope and love, this page gives a story of misery and greed. There appears to have been a theft. Robbie declared he turned and felt his boot step into something very sticky as all three turned their attention towards a gluey trail leading into the woods nearby. Addie led the way as he tracked the path of glue deep into the woods and up a steep hill. Our culprit doesn't do a very good job of hiding his tracks now, does he? Robbie said smugly. His sticky glue prints trailed behind him as he proudly announced, We're on to you, page snatcher. The gang carefully made their way up the hill, following the trail until it 
finally disappeared at the foot of a giant tree. Unexpectedly, a mysterious creature jumped out from within the tree branches above, landing directly in front of them. Tom E., Robbie, and Addie were suddenly face to face with their page snatcher. Looking for something? He sinisterly asked. I believe you have something that doesn't belong to you, Tom E. said. You've deceived and tricked the good people of Cheer Island by replacing the story of Christmas. The story of Christmas, he growled, is found in what you can get and how much it costs. Selfishness, greed, envy. This is what Christmas should bring because that is what people deserve. No! People deserve hope that is found in Jesus, Tom E. said as he crept closer. Without warning, the mysterious creature leaped into the air in order to escape, but the gang was too quick for him. Tom E. turned towards Robbie as he quickly grabbed the evil blaster from his bag and pointed it towards the creature. Fire! shouted Tom E. Whoosh! Zoom! Zap! The evil blaster came to life and flung a giant neutralizing bubble towards the mysterious creature. Robbie's aim was perfect, and the bubble engulfed the creature and carried him off far, far away. <laughs> Robbie smiled proudly to himself. Good luck gluing your way out of that one. Addie disappeared into an opening in the giant tree and emerged soon after holding up the stolen page. I got it, he said, handing the page over to Tom E. Let's get this back to its rightful spot, Tom E. said. By now, a crowd had gathered around the book's pedestal as Tom E., Robbie, and Addie returned from the woods. Tom E. removed the false page and carefully replaced it with the original. But the angel reassured them. He read, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. As he read, a warm and peaceful presence fell on the island as the fog slowly began to diffuse and disappear. They're lights! With wide eyes and grateful hearts, the people of Cheer Island watched as the light within them steadily began to grow and glow brighter and brighter. There's no denying the true meaning of Christmas cheer, Tommy said as he looked around at the bright glow. The light of Christmas is found in Jesus alone. He is the reason we celebrate. He is the reason that we don't have to live in darkness anymore. That day, the people of Cheer Island remembered the truth. Tom E., Robbie, and Addie were proud and honored to have adventured together on such an important mission. Christmas cheer, Robbie said as he raised a knowing hand into the air, is unexpected, undeserved, and quite simply unbelievable. Tom E. nodded. I couldn't have said it better myself. Christmas cheer is found in the simple and amazing truth that God sent his one and only son, Jesus, to save us. That's how much he loves each and every one of us. This isn't a love that we deserve or have earned. It's a free gift given to all. You can read the true story of Christmas cheer in Luke chapter 2. The end.